Hey, it's Tim here. Today I'm going to do another chart in under two minutes. Today it's the tree map. Let's get stuck in. So I'm going to grab the measure that I'm using and drag it and put it on size. Note that the chart type is set to automatic. We'll come back to that at the very end. The next thing we'll do is we'll drag category onto color. This will break our tree map down into three different categories, each with its own color. I don't like the red and orange in here, so I'm going to change this, select edit colors on the top right hand side, go down to another palette. Let's choose purple, pink and gray, assign the palette, hit apply and boom, we have our palette ready to go. Now, the other thing I can do here is I can uh, add some labels to this to make this a little bit more interesting. So I'll go ahead and drag category again onto labels and sales onto labels. You can also use the shortcut to hold uh, control or command on the Mac and drag those things onto label again, but this is perfectly fine. It works really quickly. Now, the next thing we can do with this hierarchy is that we can break this down. Note that the hierarchy is this products one here on the left. And if I just hit the plus next to category, you'll see that this tree map expands. And so we can keep expanding it until we get this level of detail. We've gone three levels down into a hierarchy and it looks great. Now, the thing to notice here is that Tableau is sorting this tree map in the order that we've added dimensions on the left. It starts with category, then subcategory, then manufacturer. So if we drag manufacturer to the top, it will start with manufacturer and it will rearrange our tree map and make it work a little bit better to suit the specific order that we've set up here. So if I then drag subcategory above category, then the category will actually go down to the lowest level. And so that's how this is working. So that's a tree map in a nutshell, really super, super quick and easy. Now, the one thing to bear in mind is that we've had automatic selected on the marks pane all this time. If we switch it to a square, you'll see nothing changes because that is also the same type that we need for a tree map. However, if you want a bubble chart, switch it to a circle and there you go. You have another chart for free in the two minute video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.